This is a video teaching you how to manage your account, household, and profile information in the Church Center app. If you need help downloading and signing into the Church Center app, please see my other video tutorial on that. Your first step is to open and then sign in or unlock the Church Center app. You will be at the Home tab. Click your profile picture or profile initials in the circle in the corner of your screen. You are now in the Accounts tab. Next, you will review your own profile information. In this demonstration, I am Tony Stark. Click the arrow caret next to your name to access and edit your phone, email, and address. Here are a couple of pro tips for personal information. Update your photo by clicking the circle. A good profile picture shows only your face. Please don't include pets, religious icons, or group photos. Take a straight on selfie against a plain background in natural light. A recent accurate profile picture helps our staff and your group members to recognize you. For phone numbers, enter your full 10-digit phone number with dashes. A one is not needed. For addresses, enter your postal mailing address and make sure that you use the apartment, unit, or box line if that applies to you. Include your true and accurate birthday with year because some event registrations are age limited. When you are finished reviewing or editing your personal information, click Update in the upper right corner to return to the Account tab. Next, you will manage your household. Scroll down and click the arrow caret next to the profile pictures under My Household. A household is defined as any adults, minor children, and sometimes college-age young adults who live at the same address as you. Do not include family members or friends who live at other addresses. For this demonstration, I am Tony Stark. Tony is married to Pepper Potts and has one minor daughter named Morgan Stark. Click the arrow caret next to a household member's name to edit their information. This is Pepper's profile. This is Morgan's profile. It is up to the parent whether or not to include a recent profile photo for minor children. To remove or add household members, click Contact Us. When you have finished reviewing and updating household member profiles, click the back arrow to return to the Account tab. Thirdly, from the Account tab, under My Stuff, you can manage your giving, your event registrations, and your groups. My Giving includes options to add a bank account or card number. Remember that cards carry fees and direct account drafts keep Trinity's costs low. Another option is to set up recurring donations so that you can plan your giving and never forget a financial gift. Review your donation history, see statements, and manage preferences, like whether or not you always or never want de-emailed donation receipts. That's it for my giving in the account tab. Under my registrations, you can see past and upcoming events that you have already registered for. Under my groups, you can manage the small groups, leadership groups, or serving groups that you participate in. At this time, Tony is not a member of a small group. Finally, I recommend that each household adult have the Church Center app on their phone and log in as themselves. In this demonstration, I am Tony Stark and am signed in as him. His wife, Pepper Potts, would need to sign in as herself on her phone. Both Tony and Pepper can manage information for their daughter, Morgan, since she is part of their household. Parents can collaborate with teens and college-age young adults for how best to manage sign-in information.
Navigate back to the Home tab by clicking the back arrow caret symbol or the Home button at the edge of your screen. That summarizes how to manage your Church Center account, household, and profile information.